Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be talking about the top 5 shoes that I want to add to my collection. Or you guys can also call it like my top 5 like grill shoes. Now at number 5, I do have the bread ones at number 5. The bread ones are on this list because I feel like it is such an iconic shoe. Um, it's just like so like good looking, it's so basic, it's so clean. Like it's just a Jordan 1 which is like a super clean shoe and it's red and black which is like super iconic and it's just like a really really dope colorway and really really dope shoe and actually i managed to pick it up today um today i'm recording is september 3rd which is the day that the red ones also known as the uh, band ones drop so that's pretty dope i got them on the sneakers app which is i think is owned by yeah i think it is nike so i got really lucky i got it in like the little like raffle thing that i got in it so that's really crazy so yeah, I'm definitely gonna enjoy getting the red ones. It is like one of my favorite shoes. It's like in the top five. Pretty much like these top five shoes, like my top five favorite shoes, but I don't own any of them. But I will own one of my top five shoes soon, which is really, really dope. Now, number four, I do have the Nike Air Yeezy 2, the solo red colorway. Now, this is a shoe that I really, really like the look of it, but it's a bit low on the list, probably because this is a shoe that I will never own. It is like just like overall it's way too expensive i mean like i think it's around four thousand dollars which is like really really ridiculous for a pair of shoes and right now it's already like kind of old so maybe when i can afford it um it's already gonna be a pretty old shoe that um, probably will still be wearable but like it's not gonna be that many like ones out there in like really really good condition for a good price when i can finally afford them most likely so that's a shoe that I just think it's overall so dope. It looks like so good with like just jeans and stuff. And it's just like the black. The black is like pretty cool. Like how like it has that like little like I don't know what is it? It's like snake skin almost. And then the solo red it just like sets it off honestly. With the glow in the dark so everything. I think that shoe is honestly like the perfect shoe. The Nike A Easy 2. Um, Cause I'm kinda hype beast honestly. But yeah, that's at number four. It is like maybe the best looking shoe, but I just don't see myself buying it, so that's why it's a bit lower on the list. Now number three, I do have the Air Jordan Falls, like the Fear Falls. Um, that's a shoe that I think is like super super clean. It's like a just like grayscale. I love how they have like different shades of like uh like black, gray, and like white. And I love the speckling on the midsole. I think it looks like really really dope. And it's just like such a, a clean shoe. Like it's, you can just wear it for anything since it is a, like pretty much just a black and white shoe. I really like how like it has like that little like radiant of the shoe where like has like the different shades of gray, and it's overall such a clean shoe. And like I don't know when I dropped, I was like this shoe is amazing. Like it's honestly a shoe that I will probably eventually add to my collection just because it is just like so like iconic to me almost. When I started like getting into sneakers and I saw that shoe, I was like. Holy crap, that shoe is so good looking and then it's like sold out and I was like, that's a bummer. And then that's when I figured out that like shoes sell loud and I learned about the whole like the whole culture behind this collecting shoes and stuff. So that's why that shoe to me probably is a, um, a bit iconic to me because it's like the shoe that kind of released that like made me want to get into sneakers. Now at second, the shoe that I want is actually this is a, a kind of hypey shoe almost but it is the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350, uh, specifically the Pirate Black colorway because I think the black is the easiest to wear. But I will agree that the Turtle Dove is probably the better colorway. It looks like really good, but I really like the Pirate Black because it's such an easy shoe to wear. And to me, it's like a shoe that you just kind of toss on and it will make like any outfit just become like a heat outfit all of a sudden. Like if you have just like want to be something wear something basic and you don't know like uh, what to put together and you just have kind of like a, not that good of an outfit if you honestly put the yeezy boots on it just like heats up your outfits and makes your outfit like completely fire honestly in my opinion and it's such a wearable shoe it does have the boots in it which makes it really comfortable even though i personally never tried it on before the only boot shoe i have tried on is the nmd which a lot of people say is the least comfortable of the like the three hot like boot shoes being the the ultra boots are the number one most comfortable of the three like the three big boost shoes and then there's the Yeezy and then there's NMD so it's just like really dope that there's like a really comfortable shoe that is like completely super super easy to wear that's also like super super heat 
Now, number one, the shoe that I have in mind, there's like no other shoes that even come close to the shoe. This is just overall like the best shoe ever, in my personal opinion, and that's actually the and it's actually the Air Jordan 1 SB's Lance Mountain. Specifically the black colorway. Now, I think this shoe is really cool because of the whole effect where it kind of like the black painted outside kind of fades away and then it shows into the royals and the breads. And that's another really cool concept how the shoes like different colors it kind of seems kind of strange almost but i think it's a really really cool concept i think it's like a really flashy shoe but it's just like so cool there's nothing else like it if there isn't a shoe kind of like this like please let me know because i will be really interested in it but i just think it's such a cool concept it's a brett which is like one of my first shoes and a royals which is like honestly equally as like favorite as the breads of mine because i feel like the royals they're a bit more like after you wear them a lot, I feel like they do look better when they're worn in compared to the breads. I think the breads, in my personal opinion, look best when they're like crispy out of the box. But I think this is such a unique shoe, and that's why it's actually my fav personal favorite shoe of like all time. This is like such a good concept. I'm assuming it will never be retro again, which sucks because it will probably mean I have to pay resale for it. But I really, really want to add this shoe to my collection one day. I do want to buy a dead stock pair so I can like kind of form into my own shoe, kind of have my unique fading on it, kind of like how raw denim fades into it and it becomes like your personal like pair of jeans and stuff. So this is why the Lance Mountain SBs, the black colorway, is my favorite shoe. I think the black is better than white because personally, the whites are way too flashy for me. Like, I just like don't think I can pull it off. It's like really, really flashy. So the black colorway is like, oh, it's so clean. It's like. I cannot, I can just go on and on about the shoe, nothing com comes close to this shoe to me, honestly. Now when I do get the breads, I will have an unboxing video and like an on feet video for you guys, which is kind of cool, I think. I'll probably have a lot of fun making this because I will be like, it's like wearing my favorite shoe around, taking pictures of it, like, uh, just so cool. And I got really lucky getting them, I will tell the story when I make the video, but I got really really lucky in terms of getting them because I almost struck out. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please drop me a like below. It really does help and if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. I will really 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 appreciate it. I have like almost 70 subs right now which is absolutely insane. In my other YouTube projects in the past when I tried to do YouTube, I have, I have like never ever ever experienced this kind of growth so that's like absolutely crazy i'm very very thankful for that so hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace